Join the song, lift your voice, as heaven and earth give praise. Fall to your knees at the feet of the sun.
62. For God alone my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation. My fortress, I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will all of you attack a man to batter him? Like a leaning wall, a tottering fence. They only plan to thrust him down from his high position. They take pleasure in falsehood. They bless with their mouths, but inwardly they curse. For God alone, O oh, my soul, wait in silence. For my hope is from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my salvation and my glory. My mighty rock, my refuge is God. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Those of low estate are but a breath. Those of high estate are a delusion. In the balances they go up. They are together lighter than a breath. Put no trust in extortion. Set no vain hopes on robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart on them. Once God has spoken, twice have I heard this, that power belongs to God, and that to you, O Lord, belongs steadfast love, for you will render to a man according to his work.
thousand testing prove there's hope. Hallelujah, it's a morning begin to draw. Thank you. 
us, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you satisfy our souls. You satisfy our deepest needs and desires, Lord, with your love. God, we thank you that your love is strong over us, that your love is steadfast over us. Your banner over us is love. Thank you, Lord, that you are our soul's sufficiency, that we shall not be in want, that we are not in lack. hearts and minds of North Koreans to come into alignment with God's, especially in light of our hopeful expectation that freedom is coming soon for them and that we will be a unified Korea. I invite you to come into agreement with me as I pray for each topic and follow by lifting up your own intercession. Lord, thank you for making a way for us to know you, to be reconciled to you. Jesus, we thank you that you yourself are truth and life. We pray that you would bring supernatural revelation of Jesus Christ as truth to those in North Korea. We ask that you would soften hearts that have been hardened by deception and bitterness. Make them sensitive to you and your loving truth. Oh God, give them a desire for something greater, a hunger like never before that rises up from the depths of their spirits to search for real truth not the lies of the North Korean regime. Lord, would you break off false and misled trust that people have in this regime and rescue them from the web of lies. Awaken them to instead see your truth, see you, Jesus, as truth. We pray for trust in you to be established and trust to be strengthened for those who already know you. For the Christians in North Korea, we pray that they would remain firm in truth unswayed and uncompromising in their beliefs. We declare that they are grounded in you, their firm foundation. Let's pray.
pray for faith to be stirred up and revealed among North Koreans. We thank you that you have set them up for blessing and that those who believe without seeing are blessed. We know that the faith of our brothers and sisters in North Korea is so precious and so pleasing to you. And as they trust you amidst the unseen, the unknown, would you reveal hidden treasures to them to reward their faith? And thank you that even the smallest amounts of faith in you are more powerful and fruitful than the greatest fears and doubts. And so, Lord, we uproot fear in the name of Jesus, all fear of the unknown and all hopelessness regarding their circumstances. We remove it and we replace it with faith. We trust that you are planting seeds of faith where there were none because you are a God who is always bringing new life where it seemed impossible. You are always making something out of nothing. God, we ask for a greater measure of faith in North Koreans that will cause them to believe for freedom and for great change soon and very soon. Against all odds, may they persevere in faith because their faith is in the one who always proves himself against all odds. Fill the believers in North Korea with boldness to have such faith-filled expectation for your deliverance and your blessing. Let's pray. for being our rest. You invite all to come without stipulation or condemnation and to experience the goodness of your rest. We pray this rest over North Korea. We ask that especially with the strife and tension they face each day, would you give them a special grace to find rest in you. For those who have never experienced it, we pray for powerful first encounters as they realize that your presence is the thing that they have been searching for. For the existing believers, we pray for newfound joy as they fellowship with you in your presence. 
you say in your word, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So Lord, speak this over them. Give them powerful revelation that the yoke of Jesus Christ relieves them from the yokes of this world, of sin, of self-righteousness, and of fear. They do not have to be bound by the world and by even the extreme situations they face, but they have an open and constant invitation into your rest and into your likeness. There is no rest like the rest that is bought with your blood, Jesus. Let their hearts come into alignment with yours so that rest transcends a mere physical condition and truly becomes an ongoing surrender of their souls. Let's pray. We lift up our North Korean brothers and sisters in Christ. We pray for a greater understanding of their identity as beloved sons and daughters. Already through hardship and persecution, you've given them opportunity to solidify this identity. So we pray for even deeper roots to settle in. We break off all victim mentality and orphan mindsets and establish them as free sons and daughters. They are more than conquerors in you, Jesus, and they are no longer slaves to fear or circumstance. We thank you for the freedom they have full access to, and we prophesy that their victory and spirit of sonship will set those around them free. You are preparing them with testimonies that will bring salvation, encouragement, and the same kind of tried and true faith to others. We praise you for the unique stories and the ways that each of them relates to you. And we ask that you would continue to reveal unique assignments and gifts to these individuals. Cause them to not only see their identity as sons, but also the very personal and detailed ways that you have created each of them to create, to worship, to connect, and to bless others. And may they find ways to use their gifts. And would you prepare and train them to walk confidently in them. We long for the day when we will be in fellowship with them, gleaning and learning from the rich history that they are building with you right now, even as we speak. Strengthen your sons and daughters in North Korea and let them start walking in all that you've made them to be, not just when reunification and physical freedom happens, but even before then, even now. Let's pray.
agree with your desire to bring North Korea into a deep and true knowledge of you. Holy Spirit, do what only you can do to reveal Jesus as truth and rest, to reveal the sons of God, to reveal greater faith in the people of North Korea. Thank you for empowering and preparing them for the day when they will know freedom that they're awaiting eagerly now. Thank you that in the process, that in the waiting, you are growing them into your likeness and that in every moment you are pleased to show yourself to them. You are good and your love over them endures forever. In Jesus' name. Exactly how I feel, but I can't begin to tell you what your love has meant. And I'm lost for words. Is there a way to show the passion in? Son of God, Son of Man, rightly do we love you. 
Jesus, you are worthy to be praised. You're worthy of all our worship and adoration. We thank you that you are our place of refuge and our place of strength. And when the world around us puts their trust and puts their hope in someone else or something else, may we be found faithful as we set our gaze on you, as we lift our eyes to you, knowing that there is none like you that can satisfy, there's none like you that is worthy of all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. We love you, Jesus. May our lives be worship. May it be fragrance poured out at your feet. May everything that we do bring you great glory great pleasure. We love you, Lord. It's our privilege to lift up your name and come before you with worship and with prayer. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. We hope that you are blessed. scripture and the word of God was a great encouragement to you this morning. Um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it as much as we did. We'll see you guys uh, next week, and if not, we also have a watch tomorrow evening if you would like to come out. It's at 8 p.m., the same sanctuary. Um, so we'll see you either tonight, otherwise we'll see you next week. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. We'll see you again.